Aloha all, Michael here, your friendly neighborhood philosopher. I just wanted to <coughs> cough a little <laughs> and touch bases and just see how everyone is doing. Uh, we are on the precipice of great change. We all feel it. We all are experiencing it from our differently unique perspectives. And if you understand that this is the greatest time in human history and you pay attention and you observe reality from a neutral standpoint. So when you're neutral, you're not judgmental. Either way, sometimes you can be judgmental in a manner in which you think you're being positive and you're looking at the sunny side of things, that can sometimes lead to disappointment because if you predetermine the value of an experience before you actually experience it, what happens is you have expectations and those expectations when they aren't met will result in that feeling of being disappointed. So it's sort of like when you make an assumption, when you assume anything to be something that it is not, and that's going to occur before you get to know that person, place, or thing. What happens is you build a construct of what you think that person is all about. And that will lead to disputes, confusion, disorder, disharmony. Now, you can always resolve any dissonance by simply paying attention to how you're currently feeling and calling out for the harmonious sound that resonates with your signature frequency. So everything that you have ever experienced was meant for you to experience so that you can wake up and become aware of who and what you truly are. When you accept who and what you are, you will know why you exist. So begin the process of learning by simply paying attention to how you are currently feeling. Observe reality from a standpoint of neutrality and know that you can spin in any direction so that you can change your perspective, which is your point of view. The angle at which you view anything can change in your imagination. So use your imagination. It is your apparatus of experimentation and you get to choose who, what, when, where you will interact with and decide what you prefer because you also have that ability. So focus on the things that you wish to experience and don't forget to do the things that you need to do in order to obtain what you want. So focus, discipline, spend your time wisely by paying attention to how you are currently feeling. Get past this idea that you've wasted your time because there's an infinite amount of it. Now you do have a finite amount of time in this physical format called a human being. But even that can be rectified by the simple fact that reincarnation is also possible. So know thyself. And once you know who and, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> who and what you are, 
the miracles begin to happen. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe along the way because that's the only thing that is required of you to exist as a human being. Everything else that you do, eating food, drinking water, interacting with other people, will sustain that ability. God asks only one thing of you. Love all. That's it. That's the secret. Love all, and you will know God's consciousness. <laughs>